Hey, what's going on guys? I'm here with Josh, and then we have Diana and Ashley. Okay, we're out here on the beach. We actually met this, these two tonight. <laughs> and uh, Diana, she's actually a business owner. She, uh, she does a physics channel on YouTube, and then Ashley's her intern, okay? So what we wanted to do was just ask Diana some questions since she is a business owner. We just want to get her views, right? So my first question, Diana, is what do you think people's biggest problem is about like going after their goals or what they want in life? Why do you think people don't go after uh, what they really want to do? Like they settle for less, they settle for like a, a smaller job or whatever it may be, right? Well, you dove in like real deep. I know, I, right I, went, I went deep, I went deep. Um, oh, well, I think honestly, like, I think people get really comfortable you know they get so comfortable with with like the status quo and how things are and it's hard to go out and do extra things i was just telling ashley like oh i don't feel like going out to the beach today because we were filming some things right. with people but this was more a more enriching experience and it was a lot more fun because because i went out of my comfort zone a bit to do this and i think that in order to achieve your goals you have to move outside of something you're familiar with into something that you're potentially and most likely uncomfortable with. Right. So it's just getting beyond that that zone of comfort. That makes sense. So getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Do you think it's more of a, a, a you can't do it or do you think it's more of a other people's opinion like stopping? Oh, guys, it's definitely both. both. I mean, when people have a low opinion of you, it's so hard to get beyond that and to, right. to think like, you know, if people think that, that I'm I'm not that smart, or I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not a great athlete. They tell me like you're too old right. to do, you're too old to do that. You're too old to um, start studying that. Um, it's at that point that you have to find it in yourself Definitely. to get beyond what everyone's been telling you, what you're accustomed to hearing. But at the same time, most most of the time, the barriers come from from inside yourself. You, right? you know, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I used to major in theater. And I finally just decided, because I've always, physics has always been a favorite subject, and I always loved astrophysics, especially growing up. I grew up doing theater, that's what was comfortable, that's what I knew, that's mm -hmm. where my friends were. So that's what I started to major in. And I had my whole young life crisis thing, I like to call it. <laughs> young <And> life crisis. <laughs> I decided, and I realized that once I realized that if I set my own mind to it, that of course I'm going to be able to succeed, mm -hmm. given like, take away the time limit, and I can do anything. That's when I finally declared my major in physics. Right. Yeah. Even when there's not a lot of people telling you that that like girls should go into physics yeah. or like, yeah, right. you're a girl, you'd be you'd do great in physics. That's not something you I, commonly hear. One day my friend just challenged me because I was playing around with majors and he asked me a random science question and I answered like full fledged, I knew it. And he just looks at me and he's all like, And you're a what major? And I just that's the moment I thought to myself, Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> like, why am I not doing this? So would you say that's your passion? Is that what you want to do? What, what, are, you, what are you pursuing with your physics degree? Like, um, like, I'm taking it um, opportunity at a time, right. okay. which is why I have this internship, and who knows <laughs> what will come next. And yeah, right now okay. she's interning for a YouTube channel. So, <laughs> but like it's cool, and like and it's honestly it's a huge network, especially on social media. Sure. So that's mm -hmm. honestly any open doors can come along. Although right. I like working for you, so don't fire me. And Diana, <laughs> yeah, with, you, with what you're doing with YouTube, she has a lot of time freedom, guys, and she's pretty much in control of her life. Uh, so what do you what do you feel as far as uh, some of the perks you get with your job and getting in the field here? Uh, what are some of those? I mean, like I would say the biggest perk has been meeting just an incredible number of people and diverse people. Um, I, I met Bill Nye, you know, I filmed with Bill, Bill Nye. Nye. science guy? Yeah, that was really That's cool. Awesome. I met Jones. Neil deGrasse Tyson recently. Um, and so making those connections and starting to meet the people that I've always looked up to and yeah. I've been like my role models in this career that I wanted to be in is really cool. But then also like meeting a lot of random people, traveling mm -hmm. around and um, I really I really enjoy traveling. I really enjoy like the diversity of people you meet, but it's like that takes a toll on you. I didn't know that I wouldn't <laughs> like traveling as much, but but it's it's still good to have the opportunity. So if you were to give somebody advice right before they went into college and you could tell them Well, anything. actually, dude, actually, before they go into college, do you think uh, college was worth it? That's, that's oh, the, my that's God. One do, you think, yes. do you think that college is worth it? Do you yes. think it's worth do you think it's it a necessity? for everybody? For everybody I, I, I do not think it's worth it for everybody, but I think that unless you have, you know what you want to do, you have a career path set, like, 
the, you know, there are some there's some trades or different careers, right. or maybe you you can acquire the skills on your own. And people, there are plenty of people that are smart and don't need school right. and know what they want to do. But for me, who didn't, know, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Like right. I never would have thought to go into a YouTube channel in physics right, right out of high school. That that wasn't something I I knew existed or thought could, I could do. But through the things that I took in college and the people I met, you open doors as far as like personal connections, right. like people who sure. can help you get a job in certain things right. or or like show you the jobs that exist or learn lots of different kinds of skills you wouldn't otherwise learn in your classes. So, so like, do you feel like it's worth it almost on a networking side just as much as it is your learning, right? Yeah, networking as well as, um, as well as just, it's, it's yes networking I don't know as much as what you're learning but like right. but the people you make are gonna inspire you even if you don't keep in touch with them they're gonna inspire you and give you ideas um, in a more enriching way than when you're working by yourself so right. not to say you should spend thousands and thousands of dollars on tuition just for right. networking just for networking. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Kind of stress. Exactly. the reason I asked you guys that is because I'm actually a college job at myself I did gotcha. three years in college and then I left uh, but what I I make more than I would ever have made if I'm in college right now. But uh, the thing about it is, I feel like when I was in school, um, it was not a necessity at all. I've always been an entrepreneur. I knew I was an entrepreneur. So uh, I was kind of just holding myself back. But while I was there, the only thing that really pushed me forward is because I got those connections, made so many mm -hmm. connections, different people to where I can now call up and say, hey, well, you're in the family industry. You're studying this. You're studying yeah. that. Yep. Hey, let's get together and do this. Uh, but I, I think that uh, it's not really a necessity unless you're learning a trade. Like, doctor, lawyer, something like that. You know what you yeah. want to do, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think that it's a necessity for everybody. I, I know plenty of people who have been extremely successful without college degrees. But for me, you know, not having that that surety of what I wanted to do is right. a great place to kind of figure it out. Um, sure. Obviously, if you can afford it, if you're not going into extreme debt with tons of loans, right. which is always a difficult thing, especially now. Um, but but not necessarily the network, you know, because not every school has as strong of like an alumni network right. after you leave, but the people that you meet while you're there have different kinds of ideas and have a different outlook on the world. And those, I think, give you good ideas for businesses and products you wanna potentially manufacture. Right. So talking about like uh, team building, marketing and whatnot, you have your own thing. Is it just you? Are you, are you building a team with it? Or? I have a bit of a team now. Ashley's <laughs> one of the see? team members. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so I have now I have a, a writer who helps. Um, she does a lot of research on the videos. Sometimes she'll write the full scripts for the videos. I have. Uh, she's also got a master's in physics, so that helps. Um, I've got an animator and an editor that also work uh, part time, close to full time on the videos. So. Ashley, yeah. what do you like most about working with Diane? <laughs> uh -oh. Use your work wisely. <laughs> Um, honestly, it's one I get to do it on my own time right. as well. I have a little app that keeps track, so that's nice because I'm also a server and I'm also obviously a full-time student. So I get it's, I get to control my schedule. Two, it's something I'm passionate about. It's something I'm learning. So one, it's like my media side, my media talents of my background as well as my science background. Right. And I get to utilize both of these things that I've loved into one little thing, which is so mm -hmm. cool. And one, she's pretty cool to talk to and hang out with. So that's nice. awesome. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> And it's also just, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. It's a new experience. And like I said before, like, especially in social networking and this um, millennial age, being able to, like, open doors and network. And I've met people, too. Like, um, the team members, like, I've talked to them and all this stuff. And so, yeah, it's just, it's exciting. It's like a new door that I'm, it's exciting to explore. Right, right. That's awesome. So you got one more year, right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Somewhere Hopefully we'll around I have a year of pretty easy stuff and then the next year of uh, basically two years of upper division slammed into one year Got because it. I went I went to college I went home community college work and then came back gotcha. You're gonna go so out I'm like half a college dropout gotcha. 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 Half a college dropout nice. <laughs> nice Hey Well we're just gonna go ahead and end it I think yeah. you guys answered a lot of questions <laughs> yeah, so. awesome. Anyways we appreciate you guys watching and we appreciate uh, Diana and Ashley We'll see you guys See ya. <laughs> Thank you guys You guys are awesome